the worst LinkedIn profiles reviewed in 2022 slash 2023 because we're nearly at the end of the year and it's not going to change if they're bad now they're going to be bad then so we're going to have a look at the absolute worst I could possibly find on LinkedIn give them some feedback so if you're watching it you can rectify it uh, but also show you some really good ones as well so you can hopefully emulate those with your LinkedIn efforts because ultimately we all know that the LinkedIn profile is the first place that someone's going to go on this social platform they're going to go onto your profile they're going to try and see who you are they want to get an idea of what you do how you can help them the kind of person you are and if your LinkedIn profile is anything like these terrible ones well it will hopefully highlight how a bad profile can absolutely damage your potential and the opportunities that you get so we're gonna look at the worst and we're gonna look at some good ones and let you decide whether you think that your profile needs some adjustment let's hop into the computer. Worst link. See, I've even put it here, that worst LinkedIn profiles review. Just don't do this. Don't do this, okay? But as we've said, we're gonna look at some good new ones. So if this lady isn't convincing enough, I don't know what is. And she's actually pointing down. Look, wait a minute. Look where she's pointing. Oh! Gotcha, bitch. You sneaky lady, you. Okay, that's just silly. Right, so let's start off with this one. Keegan Heaney, if you're watching this, give yourself a slap, okay? Because this is unacceptable in all fronts. If you currently have no profile picture and no banner image, you are just not even using the platform as it's intended because who is gonna log onto here and go, hmm, I really want to work with this gray blob human that I don't know who they are or what they do. But you actually, you're a business leader driving organizational growth which is actually good so we've not got say a business development manager which means nothing he's actually saying i'm a business leader with expertise in organizational growth however i would change this of course we'd change this a bit to be more a bit more specific i help x y and z businesses with x y and z okay but um you've got your name there which is good a uh, bit of the about section just quickly looking at this current physics student which dabbles so now you're telling me that you dabble so are you an expert or do you dabble bit mixed and then all of this extensive experience no one's going to read all of that it's too clunky too many words no one will spend any time there but we can tell um keegan doesn't spend much time on here because they will nearly have a thousand followers but not posted anything recently i'm sure this is out of date so there's loads to improve here goodbye keegan next one is ramen thacker now ramen is an international recruiting for Meta. Ooh! Which means as soon as you put Meta in your title, you generally gain a million billion followers for some reason. However, who are you, Ramen? We still don't know who you are. And this, I mean, is this telling me something? Is there some cryptic message in here? Always be open. Okay, thanks for that. Does comment a couple of days ago, three days ago, comment. So you're doing something, bit about you. No, actual about section. I have no idea apart from you were for Meta um, or who you are. <coughs> Next one. I actually really like this. Now, if you're not one for putting yourself on camera uh, and taking a, a fancy photo, get a little animation of you done as long as it's accurate and it actually portrays you. I actually quite like this idea. There's nothing wrong with that. It still it shows that you're a bit fun, although this looks like a grumpy man. I'm not quite sure why you'd want to show yourself as grumpy, but why are you leaving the banner space what the heck are you doing banner space is the biggest piece of real estate which i say in every single one of my videos i'm pretty sure this is unacceptable um mohammed give yourself a slap uh you're a manager of price waterhouse yeah but what does price for someone that doesn't know okay with your bazillion followers okay price waterhouse coopers what do you do what do you do as a manager? How does this business help your prospective customer? I have no idea apart from you manage this thing. I'm not even gonna spend any more time. Goodbye. <laughs> now, Claire, global head of recruitment for Unilever. Hello. However, some improvements we can be had. So, first of all, you have a face shot, which is great, and you have a banner image, great. Banner image is not telling me much. Maybe, perhaps you work with these brands. If you do, make them much bigger because it's hard to see them and say, we have worked with da 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 da. Give yourself some social proof because at the moment you're not telling me anything apart from you like blue abstract things and these are some brands on the planet, which we all know. So aim this, make those bigger, have a big, we have worked with these brands, we want to work with you and help you recruit or something to do with the recruitment side of what you're doing really focus on that and then your picture i would just move yourself back 
It's lovely. You're looking at the lens. Just you're happy. It's a nice headshot. I would just move back away from the lens. You want about 60% um, of the screen taken up. So there should be sort of 40% up here that's clear. So just have a nice headshot to move back. Okay, so not too bad, but still some improvements on the top things. We could go down and dissect a bit further. There's no about section. You clearly engage with people, which is great to see, but I would change this as well. Helping X, Y, and Z with X, Y, and Z. Big thing with headlines. Now let's look at some good ones. Enough of the bad. Firstly, look, Robert, video. They just love that. In fact, I'm gonna play it you all this is uh, oh you might not hear it let's see if you hear it i don't know if you will we're gonna try it here we go no you can't because i got my microphone plugged in damn it uh or at least i can't hear it maybe you could have so i know straight away rob is engaging he's got a video a lovely headshot see the 60 percent of the picture is taken up with him and then you got about 40 percent it's not perfect nice headshot smiling eye contact personal development spirituality and everything in between name new videos i mean come on now you're telling me you're telling me what area you're in you're telling me actually look a little bit of a call to action hey by the way we've got new videos going live every tuesday and friday on this platform why don't you watch if you're interested in these things it's quite clear what he does and then empowered by live tv da, da 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 bit more it's not just saying i'm the ceo of empowered life i'm the presenter of empowered life it's saying actually what it is to get you engaged get you involved he's used hashtags so you talks about these things in his strategies He's even linked a newsletter, free elevation newsletter, beautifully done, because anyone can click on this and get the newsletter. He's then also included his services. So this is something you can do on your profile, make your services. So now I can see all the details. These are the things that this individual does. Could I request a proposal, please? He's engaging with people. He's getting involved. He's posting content that posted this about section now about section could be improved it's not too engaging but it is generally okay it's just a bit too waffly i'm chucking some emojis because you seem like quite an engaging person right rob tick for you another tick louise anzel ensuring your people achieve the extraordinary leadership performance well-being blended coaching training and strategy da, da, da. it's obvious to me what this person does then in the about session she's not saying i am the manager of x y and z she's going exploding performance and well-being for leaders and their teams i know instantly that that is what she focuses on she uses blended coaching and training just strategies to create extraordinary people she's dates for this so she's got a website linked again contact details her services are you seeing a theme here tell people what you do great headshot engaging tell people again what you do the pain points you you cover add a link in there to your website or whatever it is you want a newsletter to sign up to providing services she's even put featured in here so her main thing she wants you to know she's added on the features page activity she's engaging with people she's got an about section emojis you see how these emojis actually make a massive difference so as you're reading down if this didn't have emojis you probably wouldn't read all of that because it'd be a chunk but this instantly makes your eye look at one line at a time it's a really clever trick to just get people to break the habit and one to two sentences in each paragraph again it keeps you reading breaks things up breaks things up with emojis brilliant 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 go check out this person copy and paste that because that's pretty good and finally rob robin i actually did this because i love what um robin has done with his video specifically but it's clear again he's engaging is him smiling using 60 percent. you see this theme running he's telling you i'm a business coach i'm a podcast person but ask me for a free copy of take your shot and then he's got his website linked here he's got his services linked but actually this part here take charge of your work let us know how we can help and he's linking it to his business look at that straight to his business page very clever use go down highlights that he's got he's got his featured again things he wants you to see so he's got business speaker da 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 get engaging with people excellent it's a good way to grow and then he has his about section so use bullet points it kind of helps but do you notice the difference between this one and the last one emojis just make a massive massive difference so um there it is that's dissecting some bad some good hopefully you found this valuable and can take something from it and i really want to show you this there's no sound it might not be sound i'm going to play it regardless but he's actually used this to show people something he's actually used this um to show that he's got some skills and he, what he's doing is saying hey did you know you can add a link to your profile he's actually telling you look i'm an expert in this you can add a 
link to your profile and then you can see he's actually done it there so it's super good um go and check out these people if you want some inspiration and there we go some bad and some good and some ugly and some great so as you can tell there are some very bad ways to do a LinkedIn profile. There are some very good ways to do a LinkedIn profile. And hopefully from this video, it gives you an idea of what to avoid, but also what you should implement on your own profile to help you stand out to anyone, any of these opportunities that you're hoping to gain from utilizing LinkedIn. Well, you now know the importance of the platform. You now know the importance of how your profile looks to someone. So get your house in order, okay? Get your LinkedIn profile all in order, your profile picture, your banner, your description, your headline, everything like that. So you really stand out for anyone that's coming on your platform. So ultimately, this is your space. This is like your shop window. And if you look like the worst ones, well, your shop window might as well, your shop might as well be closed, okay? It's a terrible analogy, but I'm gonna use it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you have already subscribed. If you haven't, please do it. I'm a tiny creator and it means a lot because I spend time doing these videos. I absolutely love doing it, but just any feedback is great. Comments, likes, um, the likes like that is, is all super. And make sure you follow me on LinkedIn. If you're not already, I always get messages and stuff from people that have come from YouTube saying, hey, wanna connect? I've come from a YouTube video. I absolutely love that. And I will always, always, always respond to those people and try and help where I can. So please connect with me. Also, there's some links in the description um, I know I probably mentioned Canva in this. I'm kind of recording this before the session, so we don't know. There's links in the description. So Canva is the best thing since sliced bread. Sort of your profile picture and your banner image. If you need it, just go. It's the, I literally, I've been using Canva for like four or five years and on the pro version, it is the best 10 pounds a month I've ever spent because I use it for everything and it's amazing. So go check out Canva um, and yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'll see you soon.